What's up, coach? It's Bryce from Synergy. Today, I want to show you how to use the overlay feature in the Synergy softball and baseball application. So here's what we're going for. This is the finished product of what you want to see. Pretty cool, right? So let me show you how you can accomplish this. So obviously, you need to open up the Synergy softball application or baseball application, depending on what uh, you're coaching. So you'll be in here and you're gonna to go to this multi-game view up here, multi-game. What you'll then do is you'll find whether it's a hitter or a pitcher, pull them up. I've already got a uh, Vodder pulled up from Stanford, as you can see right here. I've gone the 2023 season and I've added some additional filters that are relevant to me. And I know that I wanna use these two specific uh, pitches right here, so I just selected them. So good, uh, click them, I go to compare. You have to click on compare up here. So click compare. And then I just do send uh, side by side both. Again, any combination of pitches you want from your filters, uh, you can use. I like these two examples because they show the difference between the two pitches uh, pretty dramatically in the video. So uh, hit cancel there. Again, I've selected this pitch and then I hit shift and I'm choosing this pitch. And then I'm clicking play because I've got compare, send, by, send to side by side both. So I click play and then those will populate over here. Now, you're actually seeing the same pitch right here. So down here on the right side, I gotta choose the other pitch. All right, so now I've got two separate pitches. Uh, from here, what I wanna do is I wanna set a, sort of an endpoint that will help make sure that these overlays are starting really similar uh, timing-wise. So what I like to do is I like to see when the back foot touches. So um, what I'll do is I'll go make sure I've got um, this set to set right here uh, when I get to where I want to go. So I'm gonna fast forward a little bit and then I'm gonna use the plus one. I wanna see when that right foot just about points upwards, boom, right there. So I'm gonna hit set. Okay, so that one's good to go. I need to do the same thing over here. So I go to the right side, I click, uh, I go to where I wanna see that um, right foot tapping forward just a little bit. I think that was it. So we'll just double check with our, there it is. So the, the right toe just went up a little, I'll hit set. Hopefully this will make sure that the video syncs up uh, pretty well here. Uh, at this point, what I wanna do is I wanna click overlay. I like setting those endpoints when I can see just the two separate videos in a compare mode. Now we click overlay. And this is where we can kind of fine tune this overlay. Okay, so we've got our, our endpoints already set. Uh, so what I can do here is I'm gonna click left where it says adjust video. I click left and you can see I can zoom in or out. So I actually wanna zoom this in just a little bit and it's kind of try to um, you know make sure that the angle of the camera is, is always the same when you're doing your home games, especially. Um, here we have a broadcasted footage. Uh, so we're, we're getting a con pretty consistent here, but you can uh, make sure you're lining up the shoulders, the hips, you can kind of try to use the lines as a reference too. So we'll go ahead and try to get this set up right now. Okay, so we've got it pretty close. Um, I don't really need to worry about um, adjusting the right side. I just did the left only. Um, you can see right here, you can change the opacity. So if I want to see more of the right, I scroll over here and I can see more of the right. If I want to see more of the left, I scroll over here, I see more of the left game or the left video that I've chosen. I'm going to keep it just on the centered version. And right now we're good to go. There's this little arrow right here. Um, it's a little bit hard to see, but if you click that, it'll actually hide that stuff right there. And now you've got this master control down here. And when you click play on this master button down here, you'll then see your comparison or your overlay. There you go. Pretty sweet, right? Look at that. Awesome. So hopefully this is helpful for you. Uh, if you have more questions, make sure to drop a comment below or contact our support team. We're happy to help. Thanks, coach. Hopefully you learned something.